when tens of thousands of Boy Scouts from all over the globe get together every four years for this jamboree, you'd expect them to get in plenty of boating, fishing, and other outdoor activities. But this year, there was something new added to the agenda, space. You could see it reflected in the jamboree patch, in the campsites named for U.S. spacecraft, and in a variety of activities brought here by NASA. The NASA exhibit's really cool. I, I did a report on the, all the Apollo programs in high school, and there's a lot more information here than I ever got. All this space stuff is great. I like it. It's really interesting. It gives a, uh, gives a chance, the scouts and parents and visitors, a chance to see really what's going on, in addition to what you read in the newspapers and magazines, but to physically see things like the uh, uh, Freedom, Space Station Freedom, a slice of it, what it's like inside, type of environment, things like that. NASA and the Boy Scouts organization say they have some important things in common. Both think it's vital that young people in this country get early exposure to American technology. The solar wings here roll out in orbit. They're flimsy, real flimsy. They won't even hold their own weight up here on Earth. It's hoped that by meeting NASA scientists and engineers, plus astronauts like Bruce McCandless, these scouts will take a greater interest in school subjects like science and math. These scouts brought a world of questions about space to this jamboree. NASA brought some of its brightest people to provide some answers, to talk about the potential of space, and to help scouts earn a space and aeronautics merit badge or two. NASA officials here say this was a learning experience for them as well. They got a glimpse into the future and a chance to meet, perhaps, the next generation of American space explorers. This is Mike Errington reporting from the Boy Scout National Jamboree near Fredericksburg, Virginia. And you're only supposed to hang on with one hand. And when you're ready, raise the other hand in the air. And grip it tight with your legs. 